Hello, everyone. It's a great pleasure to meet you today uh, on the webinar about our quite fresh product, Lisa X. Uh, just before we will start, uh, I just want to ask you to ask the question in the question tab, not in the main chat. Then it will be much easier for us to handle that in the Q&A session, which will be in the end of the presentation. Uh, today's webinar is hosted by Robert Garbacz, our after sales manager, Dominik Sasiak, international channel manager. I am Michał grzyma Moszczyński. I am co-founder of Sinterit and head of R&D team. Mm, we are supported by Jarek Pieniążek and Anna Rola. And our great start star of this webinar is Lisa X, which is uh, behind me. And right now I'm asking you to uh, join me and check out what's going on inside. As you can see, right now it's nothing happened. Uh, the layer of powder was delivered. And right now, uh, laser start melting the cross section of the elements which are inside. Uh, I think that some kind of the connectors uh, layer was finished. Right now, the uh, fresh layer of powder will be delivered. As you can see, the recorder is coming back to the uh, initial position. Right now, it's uh, time for the preheating before the laser uh, can start sintering the powder and the process uh, begins uh, one more time and it's on the each layer uh, same sequential and here on the screen i'm not sure how well it's uh, visible but uh, we can see that it's two hours 48 minutes left to the end of this uh, print job and it's already 351 layer done through uh, 520. Mm, we will come back to this printer at the end of the presentation and check out uh, the, the progress. So uh, right now it's all from me and I'm uh, giving the voice to, uh, to the Dominic. <laughs> Hi, Michal. Thanks. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, hello, everyone. It's uh, it's again my great pleasure to to meet with you on another webinar, uh, another meeting about uh, Lisa X. Um, this is a a short uh, a short uh, program of uh, what's going to be talking today. Uh, but basically speaking, and very generally speaking, uh, we want to make two things today. First of all, we want to deliver you some um, theoretical knowledge. Uh, about Lisa X, so uh, tell you what are the key features uh, in the printer, uh, what's the difference between Lisa X and, and other printers, where it positions, uh, how you should see it against Lisa Pro and against NILS. Uh, this, is, this is one thing that we want to deliver. And the second thing is we simply want to show you uh, how it prints, how, uh, what are the printouts, uh, how big the printouts can be, um, and give you a better feeling of, uh, of how you can uh, use this printer for yourself and for your applications. Before we move on, just a few words about the company. Sinterit, uh, uh, in Sinterit, like we, we are the guys who are starting with why. So our why uh, is uh, that we believe in additive manufacturing uh, as being an inevitable evolutionary step towards a more innovative and sustainable world. And uh, we are doing this since seven years. Since seven years, we are making high performance uh, SLS solutions accessible to all professionals. Uh, and I would like to underline this second uh, thing. All professionals, we are focusing uh, not only on big companies who can afford for SLS, but also on medium and small uh, companies and institutions who finally can uh, start using the benefits uh, of SLS, uh, which are, first of all, no support structures. This is something very known for for SLS. You can print literally any shape. Uh, you don't require any structures. You have the best mechanical properties of all AM uh, polymer technologies. 
you are reaching isotropy uh, in SLS, very high precision, known previously, uh, especially for SLA technology. Now you have it also combined with the mechanical properties from FDM. So again, combining two best properties from other technologies in, into one, SLS. Um, and uh, movable parts with complicated inner geometry. So uh, probably you have seen, uh, you had the chance to see this sample already, bike derailleur. I like to, I like to show it because it shows very, very nicely what what are the benefits in just one single printout. So um, last uh, last thing about the Sinterit, like in in general. Uh, you, we are known for the printers, but uh, you need to remember always that if you want to get into SLS 3D printing, you will need, you will require a whole ecosystem, like a complete solution for the powder management from post-processing. You will require a dedicated software, uh, powders delivered by the uh, manufacturer, and also a list of services. Uh, Sinterit is delivering all that. Um, so uh, let's get uh, let's get going with the uh, more theoretical part now. Uh, Robert will be uh, Robert, who is our head of after sales, uh, previously of the support department, uh, knows everything. Uh, so Robert, please well, share almost, share your almost, knowledge. almost everything. Thanks, Dominic. Well, I have a great pleasure to show you a little bit about the Lisa X, uh, our fastest uh, compact SLS 3D printer that we have in our offer. So where the Lisa X is, well, uh, there is a Lisa, Lisa Pro, a natural ev evolution Lisa X, and there is a Nils 480 machine. Well, that makes us divide our uh, devices into two series, compact series and industrial one. With the compact series, we have the most compact SLS printer, the Lisa, Lisa Pro, and Lisa X, which has with added lightning fast printing and large working area. And also we have industrial series, which makes an uh, even bigger build and the best return of investment on the market. So uh, what makes Alisa X different? Well, uh, I need to tell you a little bit more about all of those uh, printers. So Lisa is uh, a great machine, really cost effective for professionals that are trying to start their SLS adventure. Then there is Alisa Pro with nine different materials with open uh, system that is open for third party materials. Uh, and the materials that is easy to change. And then Lisa X, which kept all the features with the, an added industrial uh, speed and the largeness of the build. Uh, so it's great for uh, end use parts, prototyping, advanced R&D, and also great for education. And there are a few words about Nils. Well, well, this is typical industrial machines, great for uh, mid and high uh, production series, for end use parts and for prototyping, but also has a biggest uh, build volume on the market, which is really important. And I will be telling this all, all and on and on that we kept all of the benefits that makes uh, us what we are. So we have the legendary print quality, we always offer you, uh, and I will tell you a little bit more la later on, we always offer you a complete end-to-end -end solution and wide material range and the really easy material changeover. That's the really, really good thing. And we always offering you the open environment and the insertion of the gas chamber. Uh, so legendary print quality because of the ultra, ultra high precision, we have sharp edges and our dimensions are repeatable. Uh, so, but what I like, what I love, and what customers, our users love in our system, in our complete offer, is that uh, it takes, well, I think it takes less than 45 minutes for setup and post-processing, but the preparation and arrangement of the model takes 15 minutes. Uh, then there is the printing uh, from three to 30 hours from PA12, thanks to the lightning speed of Lisa X. Then the quick fast process, uh, post processing, which takes from 15 to 30 minutes, and then finished. Uh, you, you are enjoying a finished printout. You don't have to uh, uh, add any more things to the process. So, but this is really important that I would need to tell you about auto nesting feature that we have in Sintrain Studio. We implemented it quite quietly. Well, uh, 
this is a great an additional feature to make the work of uh, with the, our uh, system even more effective because of the automatic nesting function, which is awesome because, well, this is SLS slicing uh, software. So we think only SLS way. It's not an FDM uh, software that try to feed into SLS world. We always think about uh, SLS, uh, about layers and so on. So auto nesting is more and more uh, effectiveness and uh, effective solution. And now, uh, Adam uh, from the support department will show you how the process uh, look like. Hello, my name is Adam and today I will try to show you what the printing process on Lisa X looks like. Let's start with the printer itself. The interior is similar to the Lisa Pro, but the main difference is the size and layout of the Galvo. Here we have a fit and here printing area. Now we fill the printer with the powder and we can start printing. It's really that simple. The printer is super fast, but don't wait 24 hours. I have a printout ready here. Collecting printout with an I.O. box is similar to the process on Lisa Pro. Just grab the printout and take it to the powder handling station. Time to clean the print. The wonderful thing about SLS is that all you have to do is clean the printout. There are no supports and chemical treatment. All the powder goes to the station and is automatically processed. I saved your time. But sandblasting is very easy and only takes a few minutes. And here is finished printout. Thank you. And I give a floor to Michal. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Adam. Mm, yeah, I think that was a very nice explanation about our system. Uh, so going uh, further into the details. In the Sinterit, we always focus uh, on the materials because the printer is as good as the materials from which uh, parts can be made. So in our offers, you can find nine different materials from the standard one, like the PA12, through the flexible, uh, up to high performance material like the PA11 carbon fiber. And also uh, because of our focus on the materials, lately we uh, announced our uh, partnership with the Fordward AM, which is company uh, from BSF. Mm. And you can be sure that some more materials will be uh, announced uh, shortly. Uh, but not, you, are not, you are not forced to use only our materials. You can also use some third part materials thanks to our openness. Our system is open. In the Sintered Studio, you can uh, tune up, uh, up to 32 different parameters. So you can uh, use your own powder or third part powder. Uh, and also uh, you can e even use the powder which uh, is easy to oxidize um, because we have inert gas control system. So you can apply nitrogen into a build uh, chamber and eliminate the, or, uh, the oxygen from that. Uh, Okay, uh, what are the new features uh, in Lisa X? Uh, industrial speed, size of the build volume, easy and smooth workflow, and best cost of the segment. Lisa X is 10 times faster than Lisa Pro. That means that it pro can produce the parts up to 40 millimeters per hour, which means that uh, most of the printouts will be done in less than 24 hours. That means that each day you can produce new printouts and develop your product really, really fast. Mm. We achieve that speed uh, by applying the Galvo into the printer. In our previous uh, Lisa's system, 
we had uh, HB, HBOT system XY gantry system. Uh, and right now we have super fast uh, Galvo. Mm, okay, and <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the elephant in the room. So about our dear competitors. Uh, here we here you can see the uh, build volume uh, in, for different printers uh, for PA12. Uh, so you can see that our is 130 by 180 by 330 uh, millimeters or 5.1 by 7.1 by 13 um, inches. Uh, we choose uh, this shape uh, and the mini will tell you a little bit more about that why in the further. Um, and also uh, it's worth to mention that our printer has 30 watts laser, which is quite uh, unique in the segment. And also uh, is uh, cap you are capable to choose different layer thickness from 70 micrometers up to 175 micrometers with the step each uh, 25 micrometers. Mm. To sum up uh, what we already knew about the LISA X, uh, here is the specification. Mm. So the build volume, uh, 130 by 180 by 330 millimeters, that it is usable build volume for PA12, PA11, flexible material, uh, yeah. Mm, different layer thickness. Mm, inside, of the, inside of the printer is uh, 30 watts laser. You can communicate with the printer by Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or USB, whatever suits you. Uh, and it's a standalone uh, machine in the, of the weight uh, 100. 45 kilograms or 330 uh, pounds. Mm. Why this X is different from other Sinterit uh, printer? So that's the third generation of uh, printer in compact line. Uh, thanks to that, we have uh, we are happy to have the biggest experience of producing compact SLS printer on the market. Um, we really applied in this printer all proven uh, solution. And as a co-founder of Sinterade and the head of R&D team, I'm really proud of that uh, product. Mm. I'm waiting for some questions from you at the end of the presentation. And right now I'm giving the floor to Dominic. Thanks, Michal. Thanks. Thanks a lot for, for explaining all that. Um, yes, there is a very simple thing like uh, the build volume and the size. Uh, you, you can think it's like a very simple um, idea behind it, but actually when we are considering a new project, a new printer, we, we have long discussions about uh, how what should be the usable uh, build volume, uh, what should be the speed, um, what should be all the parameters of the printer. It, it requires lots of discussions. And you may ask why, why? like the bigger, the better. Uh, you, you have to deal with some limitations always when you are uh, making a new project, a new printer. And uh, one of the things that we had in mind that we um, were designing the build volume of Lisa X uh, were two groups of clients. The first group of client is um, is a group of, of people who like to produce very small elements, but in a big amount. So they would like to make something like a small scale production. And for, for those clients, actually, it doesn't matter what are the uh, dimensions. They just require uh, a certain volume of the printer. But on the other hand, you have a group of clients who, who will want to print some bigger elements, uh, elements that might uh, be long, but sometimes they need to be more like uh, rectangle or like cuboid uh, form like um, so first of all um, we wanted to make something for for the um, for the first group so uh, if you would like to print such very small elements like um, like this like this uh, sintrit connector let's say um, it is possible to print quite large amount of of the elements and we made the sim simulation to compare lisa x with other uh, of our printers. Uh, if you have a look at Lisa X, you can print 540 parts. Uh, one connector consists of two parts. So you can print 540 parts with Lisa X. And please compare it with Lisa Pro. 
in Lisa Pro, you could print 224, which means that the volume of the printer is over twice as, as bigger uh, compared to Lisa Pro, the volume of Lisa X. On the other hand, um, Lisa X is offering the possibilities of printing of industrial printer like Niels. And Niels, of course, you can you can print uh, almost twice as much as, as in Lisa X, but Niels is uh, a bit different story for the moment. Uh, second group of clients are the ones who like to print, who like to have a versatile printer, not to print only small parts packed densely in the in the build volume, but also to print sometimes something bigger. Um, and here we have an example. Uh, one of my colleagues will show you how it looks like and what you can print actually with Lisa X. In my hands, I have a true scale of a human spine. It was printed on the Lisa X from three joint parts and it weighs 1.4 kilograms. You have to admit, it's pretty impressive. Thank you, and I give the floor to Dominic. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Gregor. Uh, yeah, this is a, this is a very interesting example. Uh, actually, I have it with me. Uh, I need to move uh, move back just to give you just to share with the scale. Uh, this is an a model uh, um, consisting of three elements, and I will show you uh, in a second how it was packed and how how you can how you can make it. Uh, but for me, it's like super impressive that you can print actually very easily, very fast, such such big and 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 long uh, long elements. The printing quality is is excellent. Really, I'm. I was impressed when I saw this model. So um, human spine dimensions, like a very, very long one. Um, but the most interesting thing is how it was packed. So uh, Lisa X, uh, to, to print it with Lisa X, we divided the model into three elements. Uh, two of them you can print and pack uh, in, in one session, uh, in one bed in 26 hours. And the second one, or the, like the, the last one, the third model, uh, you need to pa print uh, separately in uh, around 20 hours. Um, altogether, you need less than two days for printing these uh, uh, such such a huge model. And again, Lisa X is not designed only for printing spines. It's it's designed for printing very versatile kind of models. So we are showing just two extreme uh, models that you can actually use. Uh, I was talking about the build volume and what we had in mind, but uh, when when designing every printer, we are thinking also about um, the cost component of it. Like it needs to be fast, it needs to be big, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, Lisa X actually uh, is winning in in uh, all these categories, like uh, affordable um, compact solution. First of all, so like the general price for the for the for the for entering into uh, into the solution. Uh, for the printer of having a big enough uh, usable area, uh, in terms of uh, speed of printing and also in terms of lowest price uh, per kilogram of, of the powder, and of course, and, and also the lowest refresh ratio uh, in the market. So in all these four categories, uh, Lisa X is, uh, is winning, simply speaking, uh, offering you lower investment and complete uh, solution, more prints per run, shorter print time and very, very cheap uh, powder refreshing costs. So uh, how can you benefit from the from the Lisa X? 
we prepared some uh, some examples uh, based on the applications uh, and also based on talks of our uh, with our current clients um robert uh, is in contact with them because he's in charge uh, of the application engineering part of our company so he's be he will be the best person to, to explain it in details yeah but before i want to uh, tell uh, two things the first uh, remember we love to answer all your questions just uh, so ask the question using using the question tab and we answer we try to answer all of your questions and the second thing is dominic please return the spine to our showroom the other customers also want to see that there's no need to keep that in your home more than two days okay so uh those customers are our customers they already have our system our lisa our lisa pro system and this is how they react when we start talking with them about having the lisa x and the features that lisa x brings to the market so uh in university of greenwich uh, professor dennis is experimenting a lot with the new materials so the speed gives him the boost that he will have to wait for his uh, results much much sh shorter there is a Bulgarian company, uh, Mr. Tyson, well, which are making a fully functional prototype, uh, ready the same day or the next day. It's a real thing for him, so he's, uh, he's waiting, super curious about the, having the Lisa, Lisa X. And also, there is the Chepas company uh, with uh, Paulus, CEO, who actually doesn't believe it's really 10 times faster, but <laughs> believes us, it is. So uh, our system, our solution is great for research and education because of the open, uh, openness of the environment and the safe and complete working system thinks through the uh, whole solution. Then it's also great for prot prototyping because of the range of nine plus materials, which is extraordinary in the market. And also uh, that uh, very quick iteration. So you can have most of your parts in the 24 days loop, which makes it great. And also, it's great because of the materials and you can produce and use parts. Most of the parts are fitted into the Lisa X build chamber and it's best cost per parts in the segment without any doubts. So, uh, Dominic will tell you about uh, a little bit about pricing and delivery of Lisa X. So, here it comes. Thanks, Robert. Uh, so, um... As you know, we um, introduced Lisa X during Forum Next in November uh, last year. Uh, this was uh, the premiere. And since then, too, we started uh, collecting uh, the orders. So it is possible to um, get in the queue um, because we are starting to ship the printers already this month. So uh, the first printers will be um, will will reach the the happy happy clients in uh, in January already. Um, when, when we are thinking about the price of the printer, there are two options. You can choose uh, if you have other equipment already, like the powder handling station, uh, ATEX, vacuum cleaner, etc. You will be interested mostly in the price of the printer. And this is just below 17,000 euro when we are talking about European Union or just below 22,000 US dollars. Uh, if you happen to be from uh, Asia, South America, Middle East, or from uh, any other country of the world, um, you need to contact your local distributor because of the uh, transport costs, duties, taxes, the price can, uh, can vary. Um, how uh, Lisa X positions, how, how it compares to other uh, printers from our offer? Uh, Lisa X is uh, seven, just below 17,000 euro, uh, as I said. Lisa Pro is just below 12,000 euro, so 5,000 uh, difference. And uh, the small red uh, Lisa uh, now feels very alone, uh, 8,000 euro. Uh, and respectively, in, in US dollars, it's 22,000 US dollars for Lisa X, 18 for Lisa Pro, or 13 for uh, the small red Lisa. Uh, I said that there are two options. One is a printer solo, and the second is uh, is a set. Uh, Lisa um, Lisa X is most frequently chosen in a set. We call it performance set, and with the performance set, you are getting everything that we have in the, in in our offer. So all the equipment that we uh, that we developed, everything is there. So you will have the full complete solution and fully functional system. Uh, when you are uh, choosing uh, a set. So price for the performance set is just below 30 
thousand uh, euro or just below 20, uh, 38,000 US dollars. Um, for the rest of the world and for Asia, South America, Middle East, uh, like I said, you, you would need to speak to your uh, local distributors. Now, if you are considering if uh, Sintrit, uh, Lisa X or, or any other of our printers is the right solution for you, uh, will it apply to what you are doing actually? Uh, you can always contact us and check it with us, with, uh, with our application engineer, uh, Michał Niemas. Uh, Michał is a very, very friendly person, always happy to, to uh, help find the, the best solution. So uh, please contact us. And uh, right now we are moving to the last, uh, last part of our today's meeting. Uh, we want to share some uh, frequently asked questions with you uh, and give you uh, the answers straight away. And after that, there will be, there will be a open Q&A session for, for everyone. So we will be using the questions that you, that you put down in the, um, in the question, uh, question uh, area and, uh, and, and let's have a discussion. And also, um, Michal will, will show us uh, in a minute how uh, how the printer is doing? Uh, what happened? Oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> actually, I, I can share I can share the view for just for a second. But uh, uh, we will have a look uh, in a minute for for uh, what's what's also in the in the main screen. Okay, let's get going with the questions. Okay, I will uh, answer them with with Joe. How can I monitor the printing process? Well, the thing stays the same. If you connect the Sinter Studio to the same network, wireless network, that the printer, you can monitor the status and you can also have the camera view like it was in, with all of our features, with all of our products, uh, Lisa and Lisa Pro. What is the cooldown time for a complete build? And this is absolute, absolutely astonishing. It's around two hours still. So does the machine run on single phase or three phase power? Obviously the machine works on the single phase power. Then in the USA, power voltage is 120, but what is the amperage required? It's 16 amps, but we always deliver you the complete solution, which means that in the US, we give you the power converter. It will be 230 volts machine with the power converter added into the set. And a little bit of te a little teaser. So next Wednesday, we will have the webinar uh, about news. So uh, please sign up. It will be a huge boost to the information that you already have about our, uh, our, pr our, pr our new industrial printer. And now, uh, I think Michal will show you how yeah how I, Lisa is going. I think that we can check uh, what's new with our printer so oh my god I just as it. you can see it's still working in uh, producing uh, next layers of the uh, of the print job and we can check the progress on the uh, on the screen so uh, it's already only two hours and 19 minutes uh, till the end of the print job. And right now, uh, layer number 393 is uh, sintering, sintering uh, through altogether 520. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what uh, happened. Uh, that is the progress during the, our, our webinar. And right now, we are more than happy to answer some questions which were asked live. Uh, okay, so um, I updated uh, Cinder Studio to, uh, today and I, it shows now also Lisa X. Yes, it shows. Uh, when I choose the material, it only shows PA12 smooth. Uh, is that still a, a bug? Uh, Yes and no. <laughs> right now, we uh, on uh, first materials which we uh, present in the Sinterit Studio uh, is PA12 Smooth. It, it was by design, uh, and of course, during the next uh, weeks, uh, next materials will be added to fulfill complete uh, offer nine different uh, materials. What type of the laser do you use uh, at 30 watts glass tube uh, co2 laser no uh, we still have a diode 
laser, it's infrared uh, diode laser, uh, 30 watts. Yes, it will be. Uh, we're, we're, okay, let's start with the question. The suspense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's start if will it be. <laughs> yes, yes, it will be possible to to uh, to choose also the small printers uh, in the future. We are not um, planning to, to, to reduce the offer. Mm. What is the actual refresh ratio for your PA12 in the Lisa X? So it's uh, the same like with our previous printer like Lisa Pro. So it's 26% uh, uh, of the uh, refresh ratio. So only 26% of fresh powder needs to be added to the uh, used powder to have the powder uh, ready for next print. Okay, I, I, I will answer for that. Can third party white powder be used? Uh, well, uh, Thanks to the uh, uh, diode laser, uh, we don't have that power for laser. So the answer is supposed to be that no only grayish materials, but there are the variety of materials on the marker, market tells me that uh, thanks to the open system, you can always check whatever material you have with the minimal quantity of powder that you can uh, have. So for example, imagine that you have one liter of white powder, you want to test it, with our system, it's enough to test the material it's, uh, if, the, if our system is able to see that material. So. Mm. Are uh, all... Okay, Michal, let's go. <laughs> okay, so the question is, uh, are all the available materials degraded by the heating process like nylon is, or are there other plastics that maintain their print quality without having to mix in new uh, with new material. Uh, so generally polyamides uh, degradate, so PA12, PA11 needs to be refreshed, uh, but for example uh, flexible material uh, do not need uh, such process. What is the maximum nesting uh, density for PA12, which allows to keep good quality of the parts uh, and low risk of failing the print? I think that's the perfect question to uh, to Robert. Yeah, well, uh, this is not. Uh, uh, thanks for that question. Maximum nesting density is uh, well. Let's 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 think it through. Uh, the density. Like 15% of density is huge density, 20% of density is huge density, but it's always dependable on the models, how big the models are, because when you, can, you, you can have a lot of small models uh, printed in. It's also uh, very important for you to how you position the models to make enough powder to be sintered, because that's why the feedbed is in, in our printers, in all SLS printers, are bigger than the print bed because powder shrink and so on. So I would say that you can start with 0.01 density and you can go through like 15% uh, or 16% or even 20% of density if you can, but you need to have to position the parts uh, regarding some rules just to have the great results. Do you have a laser spot uh, distortion compensation to the use of the galvos? Uh, yeah, we have the F theta lens uh, at the end of the uh, galvos. So uh, on each point of the print bed, we have same size of the uh, of the laser spot. Thanks for a very nice question. Yeah, I think that we will take one or maybe two more questions. Okay, following up on degradation of nylon materials, how many cycles can non-sintered powder undergo? Also, what percentage of new powder needs to be used uh, to refresh used powder? Well, uh, about the percentage is like 26%, but now uh, 
uh, a little bit, I need to tell you a little bit more about that. You can go with our system on and on. If you keep refreshing the powder, we have customers who are printing one year with the same batch of powder, just keep refreshing it and keep using it. With Lisa X, the optimization of the, of the, of the bed makes it even, even more because if you reach uh, more than uh, 11 or 12% of the, of the build ratio, you will add the same amount that you consumed, which makes uh, which makes it uh, recycled and reusable again and again. So the answer is, I think, indefinitely one year. It's, it's the, the more chances that the powder got wet because you lost it, or you leave it and you forgot about it, or that it will degrade through the process of reprinting and reprinting. So. I want to pick one uh, one uh, one question. This is a question from uh, not, not this one, Yarek. How long is the cooling time after a print is finished? About <laughs> around two hours. Uh, this is the cooling time uh, when the print is it, finished. Then you can remove the print out of the printer and you can try to post process. Yes, Yarek, it's my turn now. Uh, I have a question from Serbai. Uh, and it's very similar to the question um, to the question of uh, Stefan. Uh, thanks to the playmaker, no longer a player uh, of the SLS market. Thank you, Sir Bai. Uh, your partnership with BASF is exciting. Will there be new materials? What changes uh, will there be in existing materials, such as strength, refresh ratio, uh, price? I think this question is uh, is connected to the fact that we are switching. Um, between different uh, printing technologies now with the same materials. And I wanted to uh, to ask maybe Michal can can uh, give us a bit more light on this. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so generally our existing uh, materials in the portfolio will still be available and with yeah same uh, same uh, specs as uh, as was shown. Um, of course, for the Lisa X and Nils, we will uh, update uh, our uh, technical specification uh, because some uh, some parameters like the elongation and break or uh, tensile strength might uh, be a little bit different thanks to the speed of the printing and also the amount of power. Uh, power delivered to the uh, to the print job. Well, one of the very interesting aspects of uh, changing the printers, uh, for example, for uh, for the TPU for for Flexa Gray, we are getting better uh, printing results actually now with uh, with Lisa X and with Nils printing on, yes. on, on Flexible yes, One. Yes, definitely. Uh, and this is very interesting. Yeah, flexible material will benefit a lot from new uh, new printers. Thanks a lot. Okay, and maybe uh, last question from Benjamin. Uh, why uh, 650 micrometer laser spot? Why not two, three times uh, powder particles diameter? Uh, this limits minimum wall thickness quite a lot, in my opinion. Mm, thanks for that question, Benjamin. Uh, so. We choose such size of the laser spot as a great, uh, great choice between the speed of the printer and the uh, minimum wall thickness, as you uh, mentioned. Uh, and during the uh, during the sintering process, uh, when you lower a when our software <laughs> lower a little bit the laser power, also the diameter of the laser spot is. Uh, uh, decreasing, so we really can uh, do the uh, quite uh, thin uh, walls. Uh, so yeah, that that's why we choose such uh, such diameter of the laser spot as a uh, as a good compromise between these two factors: speed and the uh, uh, minimum wall thickness. Okay. Mm, if we do not answer all your questions, please contact us. Uh, we'll be more than happy to give you some more uh, support in the next uh, days. 
And yeah, right now, thank you very much for your participation in this uh, webinar. It was a great pleasure. Um, and see you in one, one week on the next uh, webinar about different printer, Lisa Niels 480, our big industrial printer. Okay, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And see you next week. See you next Bye. Wednesday. Bye.